Thanks so much for being here. We're going to take our seats now, if you would, please. Because we, as, as much as I know there are people still on their way and some people uh, and their families coming still, we want to get started and make good use of the time that we have. It's great to see everybody. Thank you. Terrific. Welcome to all the Upper Bound students, all the Upper Bound families and parents. Give yourselves a round of applause for your wonderful support of your students' participation in the program this summer. This is our 2014 Upper Bound Summer Program Award Ceremony, the 25th such event that we have had on this campus at Bristol Community College. So we're very proud to mark that anniversary. It's very special to us, and we'll be celebrating the 25th year of our program throughout the fall, especially. Um, and it happens to coincide with the 50th anniversary of the Upper Bound Program nationally, which was funded, founded in uh, 1964 during the Johnson administration as part of the War on Poverty uh, programs to uh, alleviate poverty through education and educational access to higher education. So this has been one of the strongest, most important programs that was developed during that effort, and we're so proud to see it thriving here at BCC today. Thank you all for being part of that, and welcome. I'd like to welcome President Spraga especially to this evening, and I'd also like to recognize my colleague, Dean Joanne Preston, from the Division of Humanities and Education, who represents our academic area this evening. Thank you. I'd like President Spraga to come up, if he would, and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, thank you, Sarah. Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to the campus. Uh, uh, the students have spent them a good deal of time at Wheaton, but uh, we're uh, glad you're here at Bristol uh, for tonight. Uh, this is a wonderful program. Uh, I was had the uh, pleasure of visiting with the students last week and uh, responding to some of their questions. Uh, all are highly motivated and uh, moving forward, which is very important, moving on the pathway of education. There's a program like this should be a model for all of the country, really, uh, not just Upward Bound, but everyone uh, at this age should be uh, exposed to the wonderful educational opportunities that are provided through Upward Bound. And uh, uh, I also want to reach out and uh, give a special thanks to the faculty and the staff uh, for your unlimited patience uh, and uh, unair conditioned existence uh, this summer in, uh, in Wheaton in the dormitories. Uh, but it was really a fabulous uh, uh, testimony to your dedication uh, to the program and to the students as well. And uh, of course to education. And of course Sarah and uh, Roxmead uh, did a great job in leading the program. So we're very grateful to everyone who participated. The important thing now is to keep going. And Sarah, I know, has statistics about uh, those of you who are continuing on and moving forward. And that's exactly why uh, we're here to celebrate. You always have a home, even if you don't go to Bristol Community College. We'd love to have you. But even if you're not going to Bristol Community College, uh, wherever you go in education, you, I want you to uh, know you have a home here at Bristol. Uh, and you can use our resources and take advantage of the great expertise that we have at the college. So congratulations, keep going forward, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'd like you to uh, take a moment and acknowledge all your fine instructors and tutor counselors who worked with you this summer. And I'd like them to, to all rise as one, if you would, please. Dave, as well. <laughs> all your instructors, Lisa Angles, <laughs> Silvana Mello, Tina Morin, Paul Pye, who is on a flight to California as we speak and unfortunately could not be here, Carol Richards, David Swanson, Dave Rodericks. Thank you. They all did heroic and um, 
just indefatigable work this summer, just working very, very hard and creatively and with great uh, vigor to prepare lessons for you that were appropriate and ambitious and help you move along and get ready for your fall and your ambitious schedules this coming year. I want to thank them very much for their congeniality and their good spirits and the great work we all did together. It was a pleasure. And I'd like all your tutor counselors to rise, please, and be recognized. Channy Chim, Jeff Magdariaga, Madeline McKillop. Madeline was here. There, there she is. Uh, <laughs> Tyler Paquette, Chanda Jennifer Sarr, David Smith, and Sophie So. Thank you. Despite a little bit of uh, pranking activity, they were incredibly hardworking people around the clock and did a fine job supporting classes and coming up with activities, working on recreational events, supervising and supervising and supervising, and they did a fantastic job. Thank you. And to my right and left hands, Rex May and Vanak, Penn, where are they? They're clearly working on something behind the scenes. <laughs> I would, in their absence, like to thank them very much for all their hard work. OK. Um, what we're going to do now, if I can review the schedule with you briefly, is to recognize each student for a unique um, element of their contributions this summer. And President Sprague has been kind enough to agree to hand those certificates out. And you know, of course, that we can't recognize every wonderful thing that you contributed this summer. But we'll certainly try to um, recognize one of those aspects that stands out in the minds of your teachers and your staff. And so we will do that now, followed immediately by uh, Dave's presentation of martial arts certificates of completion and recognition. So he'll do that as well right afterwards. And then we'll move into our program slideshow and other remarks and presentations, as you can see on the schedule. We'll have a break at about 6.15, 6.30 for refreshments, and then we'll resume our program at that time. Thank you. Hopefully there are enough of them are here. I'm just going to mix them up a little bit. OK. So to kick things off, I'd like to ask Mr. Benjamin Doobie to come up. Come on up. He's going to receive an award for the uh, pursuit of logic for his debate skills, his love of argument, and his logical fallacy lessons. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To Kyra Elitario, the Future Leadership Award for her promise and effort and great leadership potential. Congratulations. Okay. All right. I'm going to mix these up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Healer Award for her positive healing energy, her hard work, and her many accomplishments, Nicole Ferreira. <laughs> she knows where this started. Uh, Nicole, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the uh, Compassion Award for her empathy and her kindness throughout the whole summer program, Shelby Schwinnard. <laughs> the Free Thinker Award for his intellectual adventures, Peter DeVito. Uh -huh. <laughs> Peter, congratulations. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right. Is Blakely here? Not yet? Okay. I'll hold that aside. I know she's on her way. 
Okay. Um, and a couple of them that I'm saving for a little bit later. All right, the Maxwell Smart Award for his forays in espionage. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Chester Fernandez. <laughs> I'm not sure he's here. I haven't seen him. Okay, we'll get that to him. Chester has a, a masterful approach to... Uh, he must be out on a mission. He's on a mission. He's on a mission, I am sure. So the Career Planning Award for her focus and determination in preparation for her chosen career in American Sign Language. Kendra Gregg. Congratulations. Very proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. We have just a few. You can alert me if someone comes in whom we need to recognize. The Perseverance and Calculus Award, Krishna Chum. Calculus. Wow. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. Krishna was placed uh, a little before his time in a cal high calculus level and persisted and did very, very well uh, despite that um, early placement. Mm -hmm. To um, another math perseverance related award, this one is for her persistence in mathematics. All summer, uh, without a strong background, she took on the challenge and improved her skills tremendously and worked very, very hard. A new student this summer, Melita Knopp. Thank you. Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Melita. OK. Okay, the very best writer in the program, Jasmine Pereira. Wow. Beautiful writer. It is. And we have a lot of good writers. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. A few more arrivals. For the most effort in English, in Lisa's classes specifically, Alicia de Almeida. Alicia, congratulations. Very proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Is Paul Mello here? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. He's, he's getting a very exciting award. All right. Um, the Good Character Award for her resilience and her steadfastness, Katya Frias. I don't know if she's here. So sorry. We'll make sure she gets that. OK. Let's see Ben Barrows. Ben Barrows is not here yet. Okay. To Nyesha Alameo, come on up. The inquisitive award for her very thoughtful questions all summer. Genuinely more deeply thoughtful than most and um, very helpful. Thank you. Inquisitive. Yes. Okay. For her excellence in Chinese and actually in all other subjects, her all around hard work, Kiara Alameo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. I don't see Mozart here. No? Not yet. Okay. The uh, Future Biology Teacher Award, Ricky Miet. Wow. 
encouraging. We need biology teaching. Good luck to you. Congratulations. <laughs> you all, you very narrowly escaped being awarded best hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can give it a flip if you want. Everyone admires that. In addition to your academic strengths. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emma Rogers. Not here. Oh dear. Okay. Nicholas Sherwin. Come on up. He's he's apprehensive. <laughs> the Rocky Balboa Award for his steady work efforts. He did a great job. Thank you. Oh. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Andrea Defont. And she's being recognized for her harmonious attitude and demeanor. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> it's very important <laughs> to, for a summer program to go well. Very, very important. Is Isaac here? Isaac Cortez, Volunteer of the Year Award for his engagement and energy and willingness to do anything we need. All right. And get involved. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> OK. To Luke Eliterio. The Poetic Humorist Award for his work in English and his very good nature. Thank you. And his jokes all summer. To Katrina Ferreira, the Maya Angelou Award for her depth and poetic expression. Oh, yeah. That's a wonderful award. <laughs> Thank you. To Leah Granham. Yep. Excellence in written Chinese language. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Good Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Curtis, is he here? Not yet. Okay. Well, I'll walk in a minute. Sabria Bethune. Come on up. Best turnaround in mathematics. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. OK. Cheyenne Green. Come on up. She's getting a performance award for her love of song and dance. And she will be giving you a sample of that this evening. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> OK. Tyra Leet. Come on up. The Commentator Award for her excellent feedback and remarks throughout the program. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. This is a budding journalist. Okay, most improved in mathematics and Chinese, Shana Miranda. Is Taylor here? Taylor Nash? No? Okay. Yep. All right, Samantha Kearns, come on up. Samantha is a bridge student this summer and is grad has graduated from Durfee High School and will be attending Bristol Community College hey. in the fall. And she's receiving the Facilitator Award for her great efforts at negotiation and her uh, aspirations to become a social worker. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Sorry. That's OK. OK. Another graduate this year who's going on to University of Massachusetts at Amherst in the fall, to Travis Lee. Wow. Come on up. <laughs> the Spirited Away Award for his well-rounded, friendly, otherworldliness. Oh, 
Again, Thank, you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Should I open this now? <laughs> sure. Why not? Here you go. Pull it back, yeah. Maybe I'll yeah. take a look at it later. Yeah. Thank you very much. Just to get me through the ceremony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Serena Williams Award for her love and proficiency in tennis. Sierra McElroy. McElroy. Not here. Kiara Oliver, come on up. There she is. This award recognizes her comprehension and excellence in Chinese language. Wow. One of the few top students. Congratulations. OK. To Mr. Joshua Reed, come on up. <laughs> For his excellence in chemistry and also his fine distinction as a peer tutor, everyone turned to Josh all summer. Josh will help me, and he's dropped whatever he was doing and helped to tutor his peers all summer. Thank you. <laughs> Angela Reed. But now, Angela, this is kind of a corny award. But it, it, there wasn't a better word we could think of than sunlight for you, for your radiance and energy and your wow. luminous presence. Oh, wow. She's just filled Congrats. not only with great yeah. academic yeah. intelligence, but tremendous liveliness and fun yeah. and spirit. And she makes us all happier <laughs> just to be in her presence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's Justin Sims Frazier. Come on up. <laughs> so this is the Never Say Never Award. <laughs> From what I understand, that's a Justin Bieber title. Justin might resemble just a little bit. But this is, this is from all your loving staff and teachers. All together, collaboratively, we decided on this for your persistence and your determination as a new student. And please take President David too. Thank you. OK. Is Kiara San Haas here? Yep. Oh. So Kiara will receive the Eye of the Tiger Award. Wow for her intensity oh. and her spirit and joy that we were lucky enough to share in. You. Thank you. Is Melissa Svay here? Melissa? OK. I saw a couple of people come in. All right, Hannah Torres. Come on up. She's getting the Wonder Woman Award. Oh being just good at everything. Oh, that's great. That's and low-key and mature and modest, in addition. Very calm and full of humor, very witty. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. The Comic Genius Award for his mischief and humor, Tam Tran. I don't know if he's actually here. OK. I'm sorry. And Tiffany Vincenti? Not here yet. OK. Thank you. I think I saw Blakely sure come in. Everybody got one. Is that right? Someone did. Blakely, one. come on in. Come on up. All right. I guess the pop is a lot. <laughs> there she is. OK. <laughs> And we'll give these out as people come. This is Blakely receives, this is kind of a funny award, but the Bermuda Triangle Award for surviving her first summer with great maturity and grace. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. OK. Did anyone else come in whom I missed? I think that might be it. Thank you so much, President Thank you. Sprague. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Please, I'd like to invite. Yes, let's have a round of applause. Yeah. 
your staff and I deliberated long and hard over the weekend on these, so they really do recognize something that we remember about you that's very special. I hope you take it in that spirit. And I'd like to invite Dave Rodericks and Kalina up to present you with awards for your martial arts work this summer. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, these certificates, uh, to recognize them showing outstanding performance in the uh, Bristol Community College Upward Bound 2014 Summer Martial Arts Program. And I will apologize if I mispronounce any names. Uh, Nasia Alamino? Not here. Alamino, okay. No? I'm sorry. Kiara Alame. Benjamin Barrows. Sabri Bethune. Kane Chandler. Right here. Shelby Chouinard. Krishna Chum. Parisha Cooley. No. Isaac Cortez. Alicia DeFonte. Andrea. Andrea. Oh, is it Andrea, Andrea or Alicia? Alicia. Alicia D. Almeida? Okay. No. So. Oh. I think. I may have the wrong name. Yes, Alicia D. Almeida, but I <laughs> spelled wrong. Is she here? She's here. Alicia? I did. <laughs> Peter the video. <laughs> Kiara El Otero. <laughs> Luke El Otero. Chester Fernandes. Katya Frias. No. Leah Grunin. Kendra Gregg. Shayan Green. The troublemaker. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Travis Lee. Sierra McElroy. Paul Mello. Sienna Miranda. No. Taylor Nash. Melita Knopp. Kara Oliver. Congratulations. Lily Pastrana. Oh, I can bring it. Jasmine Pereira. Raymond Fong. Joshua Reed. Richard Rim. Nicholas Sherwin. Justin Sims Frazier. Blakely Thomas. <laughs> Tiffany Vincent. <laughs> Tiffany not here. And last but not least, Kiara Sanhas. Could you calm down? <laughs> I'll make sure that uh, Sarah gets these certificates for the other students. Um, they all did a great job and they all had a lot of great questions. And uh, everything that they did, they did with full uh, and vigorous. So give yourselves a big hand. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Well, I put these aside to give to them later because they're so illustrious and graduating, but uh, then I went, walked away prematurely. So I must recognize three additional people. Richard Rim, come on up. The, uh, Richard is graduating and going to BCC in the fall, and he receives the Gentleman Award for his good deeds and courtesy. Congratulations. Very important contributions all summer, and we wish him well at Bristol Community College in the fall. To Raymond Fong, the Bubble Tea Award for his cheerfulness, camaraderie, friendliness all summer. Thank you, right? All five years of his participation in the program. Congratulations. Raymond will be attending the University of Massachusetts at Amherst in the fall. And to Chi Kid Chow, and we're going to give him the 2014 Leadership Award for his excellence in ethical reasoning 
and being a wonderful role model. She also has participated for five years in the Upper Bound program, and he'll be attending the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy in the fall. Thank you. I'd like to switch our program just briefly. We're going to have a slideshow shortly, but we need a little time to set it up. And so while we're doing that, I'd like to invite your faculty and staff, if they'd like to, to come up to the podium and say a few words to each of you directly about their experience this summer and any words of advice they might have for you. So you're very welcome to do that. And I see Ben Barrows, so I'm going to get his award. Come on up. Bear with me while I look. How are you? That's okay. Just give me a few minutes. So the teachers can be thinking about who's coming up. Who I know it's spontaneous, but you're welcome to offer a few words. The tutor counselors are as well. This is kind of a program tradition to put everyone on the spot. Ben Barrows. The uh, Good Steady as a Rock Energy Award for his great, stable, confident demeanor all summer, which was a great boon in athletics and academics and program-wide. Thank you. Okay. So I'll, uh, now we'll have our faculty and staff remarks as well as you wish. Thanks. wanted to say thank you for making my summer memorable. You would think as a tutor counselor that I taught a lot, but in actuality you guys gave me a lot of life lessons that I'll be very grateful for, even from like looking over my shoulder and seeing my text messages and then giving me a boy advice or whatever it is. Extremely inappropriate, but still very, very nice. So thank you for making um, this year really, really remarkable for me, each and every one of you, from the hardships to um, the little bickering, to all the good memories that we've had. Thank you, and Ky uh, Kyra actually got me obsessed with the Vampire Diary, so thank you. <laughs> and um, seriously, all of you have a really, really soft spot in my heart, and if you ever need anything, don't feel free to reach out to me at all, at all costs, so thank you. Okay. It was another great summer, and everybody worked really hard, but there was one class that took on something a little exceptional in science because they took an interdisciplinary approach and ended up writing a children's book about Peacock Pond from an environmental approach and illustrating it and doing a great job. It's not quite finished yet, but it's gonna be great when it's published very locally. <laughs> so I would like Angela, Andrea, Shelby, and Nicole to come up here, and Sarah too, please. Because the other thing, the, the other thing that they did was they read Henry David Thoreau's Walden, or at least parts of it. And this, there are children's books based on Walden believe it or not. And the one that we read was Henry Hikes to Fitchburg. And there were actually five in the series. I didn't know there were five at the time, but that's what Wheaton had in the library. So, ladies, you all now have your own copy oh. of Henry oh. Hikes to Fitchburg. <laughs> and Sarah, too. Thank you. I'm thrilled. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'd just like to say kudos to Carol for spearheading such an innovative project to have the students write their own book over the course of the summer. It's not an easy undertaking, and she had everyone working together, and that's a lot to do, including managing her existing classes and supporting several independent studies going off in their own different directions with her guidance. So thank you, Carol. I would just like to say how proud I am of everybody's hard work this summer. I have always been impressed by Upward Bound students and by their ability to be mature and to persevere. And this summer I was glad that you all persevered through my many essays. And I encourage you to keep working hard and to have a very successful academic year. I don't really have anything planned, but I just want you to know that uh, this has been a memorable experience for me, and I'm so glad I did it, and it was so much fun to work with all of you. And I just want you to know, uh, all the students I had anyway, you're all well on your way. You're all following what I call the most important things in life, and that's following the three R's. You're all very respectful, very responsible, and resourceful, and I know all of you are gonna go far. Okay? Thanks. I have to let you folks know that I've been a teacher for 30 years and I've always taken my summers off and this is the first summer that I have ever taught in any type of program anywhere at, at any time. This was the most important summer of my life as a teacher. I truly enjoyed being with you all summer long. Physics is not an easy subject, and um, you guys did a fabulous job. I threw a bunch of stuff at you, and you came up doing a great job the, whole, the entire time. So thank you very much for a great summer. Um, it really meant a lot to me. My first summer teaching um, in a very long time. So thanks very much. just want to say that I had a great time this summer uh, working with a really talented group of staff members, teachers, and um, also students as well. There are a lot of students who are in the top, I would say, top 20 of their class who participate in the summer program this, this summer. And uh, it was a privilege to work with those students and, and also the other students as well. And we had a lot of activities. We did, we went to see uh, a play at the Ocean State Theater, which was the first experience for me, uh, and a lot of other activities. So thank you for a great summer, and I look forward to the next summer as well.
Thank you. So this summer was a pleasure working with you students. Uh, you have the rest of the summer off. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and take this opportunity to do new things, challenge yourselves, don't give up, and just live life. That's all. <laughs> I wanted to make some housekeeping announcements about things that you may be wondering about. The final field trip, we always do this a couple weeks after the end of the program. The Bridge students are still deliberating about what will likely be the very best final field trip we've ever taken. But they're still working on that plan. They're working on that right now. So you can still get in there and make your suggestions. Kendra's already done that. Um, <laughs> but I would expect we'll be getting that date out to you in the next couple of days. And we hope that it'll be a nice way to gather again after everyone's had a chance to rest and recuperate. We will post it on our Upper Bound Facebook page and if you would like we can also try to call everybody. Sometimes people aren't subscribed to that page, that's right. So we'll try to get the word out by phone and by page, and we'll invite all of the staff who've been part of this summer too in case they'd like to join us. It'll probably be in a, in a couple of weeks. Um, and that's usually a, a really fun time to celebrate together one more time before school starts too. Um, the other thing is we are deliberating on the winner of the House Cup. That wonderful honor of the House Cup for the year. And it seems to be between dolphins and leos. So if you're a dolphin, if you're a member of the Dolphin House Dolphinus, please stand up. All right, let's have a round of applause for them. They are at least the runners up, if not the winners, and we're counting votes right now. And leos, stand up, leos. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So congratulations to both houses, and we'll give you a final heads up and award the cup uh, at our final field trip gathering. Um, I also wanted to mention that some of you were not present that very last day when we were saying goodbye and providing final stipends. So if I might have your stipend because you were not there Friday afternoon, but are here now. Let me know before you leave, and I'll get you your stipend. Okay, yes, Nicole. T-shirts have been ordered and are not yet ready. Those will be available by our final field trip time. But as you may have known, the five, we took many votes, and one, what we decided upon, and the majority voted for a royal blue V-neck short-sleeved T-shirt for this summer. And it's going to have Raymond Fong's design on the front, or on the back. Yay. And it will also have all of our names and all the staff names on the back of the shirt. And all staff members will also have, a, have one of those mailed to them. And so you'll, you'll definitely have that as well. Unless you come on the final field trip and you'd like to come and claim your t-shirt in person. Uh, so we'll be mailing you these things. Raymond has also, uh, in the past, provided a copy of the CD that you just saw the slideshow. And I may prevail upon him and Travis to, to help me make copies again so we can mail those to each of the staff if you'd like to have one of those too. Um, and for those of you who are wondering about sharing this with those who aren't present tonight, we'll be replaying the slideshow from the summer program in the first meeting in the fall, so that when we're all gathered again in September, you'll be, everyone will get a chance to see that again. Okay? Yes. Um, do you know when the first meeting will be? No, not yet. We'll be sending a mailing out to everybody with the dates of the first meeting and the whole Saturday program calendar for the year ahead. 
um, as well as any highlight dates and events that we know of at the moment. So be looking for that in your mail in the end of August. I also want to point out Andy Vu, who's one of our program graduates. He came today, even though he wasn't a bridge student. And I want to congratulate him, recognize him. He's off to Wentworth Institute of Technology in the fall. Stand up, Andy. It's great to see you here, too. Thank you. OK, so Cheyenne Green is going to sing Someone Like You by Adele. Thank you. Are we good? This is good? Okay. <laughs> I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. I heard that your dreams came true. Guess she gave you things I didn't give to you. Old friend, why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or hide from the light. I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I had hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you to Don't forget me, I'll be like, I remember you said. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Yeah, you know how the time flies only. Yesterday was the time of our lives. We were born and raised in a summer haze, bound by the surprise of our glory days. I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I had hoped to see my face, and that you'd be reminding that for me. It isn't over. Oh, never mind, I'll find someone like you. I miss nothing but the Sometimes it hurts instead. Nothing compares, no worries or cares, regrets and mistakes. Their memories made. Who would have known how bittersweet this would taste? Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best. For you to don't forget me. I begged, I remember you said. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I love all you guys. Okay. Bye.
Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm short. Okay. So I'm going to make some remarks. Um, when I started Upper Bound my sophomore year, I was shy and quiet and didn't really make a lot of friends, except the ones I had during the Upper Bound school year. I had some drama that year, but that's all in the past where it belongs. I have grown since then, trying to put the past behind me and think about the future and positive things in my life. In my three years, I have gained many friends and have memories that will last me a lifetime, like the time me and Ken Kendra and I um, rolled down the hill of the dimple last year while filming the Upper Bound 2013 video, or dancing with all my friends during the UB dances. We have laughed, we have cried, but we will always be a family. I remember every one of you because you have played a big part in my life. I probably wouldn't have even been able to come up here and speak to all of you tonight without the help of the dedicated staff. I will remember the fun, but I will also remember the learning experiences, like having Chinese with Paul and SAT prep with Rex, and even having great ideas with Sarah and Vidak. I would like to take the time to say thank you to my fellow Bridge students, because even though I was the only girl, they all treated me with respect, and I will always care about every one of you. We had a lot of fun in the study room, and when Chi drove us to BCC. Thanks for the great times, guys. I remember thinking it would be hard to say goodbye, and I was right, it is hard. I consider myself fortunate to have been part of such a great program that I care so much about, that it makes it saying goodbye hard. But as we say goodbye, we remind ourselves that goodbyes are not forever and not the end. I would love to stay up here and reminisce about all the fun memories I had, but I also want others to be able to speak. So I just want to say thanks to some people. I would like to thank Sarah for all she has done for me and this program. She is a wonderful person who has helped me out and given me chances when I have done wrong. I would like to thank my TC, Sophie. She was super nice and always helped me out if I needed to talk to someone. I would also like to thank the staff, especially Paul, for teaching me so much. But I would also, above everyone, like to thank all of you for not only being my friends, but for being a second family away from my other life. So with that, I want you to remember, goodbyes are not forever. We may be apart, but I will always be an Upward Bound student with memories of all of you. Thank you, and peace, love, and happiness. a small token of our esteem to each of the bridge students, so if they could all come up as a group, I'd love them to come up now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll always remember Kurt Chi saying, Travis. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a little... Um, This is just one of the things that we're planning to give to our bridge students as a memento of their experience to go off to college with. It's a little, little engraved pen and pencil set for them. So thank you. Me and the other bridge students also have something for Sarah for doing so much for us. So this is from the bridge Aww. students and I. Thank you. Should I open it now? Chocolates. Chocolates. <laughs> What's this? Is it like winter? Yes. Oh my gosh. And there are, there, there are four of them. <laughs> Sunflower. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. 
It's like a, what is it called? Sunshine, sun, sky. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I thank them very much. I will always treasure this and put it up somewhere where I can listen to it and hear your voices in it. Thank you. I also have a couple of things in addition to give to them. Um, and bear with me just one moment. One, uh, we have a, a benefactor for our program who's a former tutor counselor whose name is Henry Lee. And he's very kind. He worked for us many, many years ago, but each year he donates scholarship funds and Lee Lee has begun to purchase items for us to give to students who fit a particular profile who are graduating and going on to college. Um, this year, Henry asked uh, that we give these two items to students who are uh, going off to college in a particular way. One, he wanted us to recognize a student going into the health sciences. And so of all of our students who may end up in health sciences, there's one we know for sure is going into health sciences, and that's Chi. So come on up. Chi is studying pharmacy in a doctoral program. So he wanted, and we want, as we deliberated on the staff, for you to have this um, iPad mini to go off to school. <laughs> so congratulations, and, and use it and have fun with it. Enjoy it. Um, and we also discussed it whether she was really a, a Mac person or not. We're not sure, so he can trade around with this other item that we have, which is a Samsung tablet, which he gave to us, and he said that all the doctors he works with, he's in health services, and all the doctors he works with use this device because it fits in their lab coat perfectly. So we uh, all deliberated together about who should receive this, and we thought, based on the technology we know, at least that we've observed each one has, that we think Richard would appreciate it the most. So come on up. <laughs> and for the other three, we have an equivalent value uh, gift certificate uh, from Amazon.com so they can use it in any way they wish um, and it will be of an equivalent value. So you will each receive that uh, later this evening. Okay. So thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. So, how has everyone been today? I have no script set up, so I'm just speaking from my head. It's been so, so wonderful to meet all of you, um, starting since freshman year. I, I love every single one of you, don't get me wrong. Um, I really do like you guys. All of you have, have very, uh, each of you have a very um, nice mm, soul inside of you. I, I can sense it within my head. <laughs> Tough God, only have three people laughing. Um, so, he, my, my name is Travis, if you guys um, don't know. I, I'm sure like 95% of you know me, except those parents and maybe some teachers. Um, hi, my name is Travis, in, in case you forgot. Um, I, I've been a student here since uh, four years ago, right? Yeah, four years. These, these guys have been here for five? Same has been three, Raven has five. Okay, five, five. Hey. <laughs> um, I've had a very fun time with you guys. There's certain people that I would like to give thanks for you, but I do not want to give out any names because I really like them and I hope they have a really, really nice time for the rest of their lives. And best of luck and have a great, great life. Uh, 
Um, so you guys all know me. Uh, I've been here for five years. It's been an excellent experience. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm not really one for speeches, but um, all of you guys have made an impact in my life, and I hope I made a little impact in your life too. And even in this program, it is so wonderful. And I hope all of you take advantage of it. And I'd like to especially thank Sarah for all her help, and Vinak and Rex, especially Vinak too, because he's been my t he was my TC for like three years in a row. And we had some fun times. You know. <laughs> but um, Upward Bound has been great. These five years of my life, it just, I, I don't know how I would spend it any other way other than with this program. And, well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you very much for being a part of my life, guys. I lost. <laughs> now I'm up here. <laughs> my time in Upward Bound has been very precious to me. In all my years, um, I grew up as a shy guy who barely talked to anyone. And entering Upward Bound, I didn't think I'll, 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 be, I'll, I'll be able to talk to all of you. But as the years went by, I got to know more and more people. I got to know my five-year roommate, Richard Rim. <laughs> I can't believe I've been his roommate for five years. We've been through so much. <laughs> unspeakable, unspeakable things. Locking Jeff, um, Jeff in our room. <laughs> so much. For, for every year, I, I grew out of my shell, and I, I learned more and more knowledge of life in general. I found out some people might have newspapers in their houses. <laughs> from <G> <laughs> and I, I learned that I should enjoy life as it comes and just have fun. And I, as well as taking pictures of all of you and every year presenting a slideshow. It represents our memories that we make and the smiles that we have through every year. No, no matter how many hardships there are, we always go through the program. And we are family. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, wow. It's five years. It went by really quick. I remember the first time I joined, my mother kind of forced me to join, getting me out of the house. Anyways, first year, I was extremely shy. As time went by, I finally opened up. I got to meet great people, learn about its cultures, ethnicities, etc. And, well, I made a lot of good friends. My fellow British students kind of lost one, but yeah. Well, it was a great time. A lot of good memories. A lot of bad times. But yeah, it's slide. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess that's all. I got nothing else. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. 
I want to thank you all for, for being who you are. Um, each student in the program is very special to us, very important and unique, and we get to know these wonderful things about you and watch you grow, and the, the joy of being with you for up to five years is really profound for us. For me, perhaps especially because I'm so old now, um, that <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a real joy, it's the joy of my life. And so for each one up here, I can say uh, just a couple of words. I would like to say that Travis has so much idiosyncrasy and eccentricity, and underneath that, so much love and joy and intriguing <laughs> uh, artistry, and he loves to make things and create worlds, and he has great insight, and he's very, very charming, and it's been a pleasure to watch him grow, um, and to grow out, to open up the way that he has and become a, a fine young man. Chi has always been the conscience of our program. He is the one who has a, he'll speak up for what is right, and against what is wrong. He will challenge things that don't seem right to him, no matter where that's coming from, from students or staff. And it's a, something that I respect a great deal, and I think it will stand him in great stead as he goes through his life. Uh, he's an honorable person, and I, I love that quality in him, and he, that is why we recognized him for his leadership this summer. Um, but he's displayed that since the very beginning. Raymond is indeed our photographer, our chronicler. He captures all of our moments and sometimes takes the role of the observer and steps back to look at us um, and to photograph us well. But the, you've seen the quality of what he does. This year it was done with Travis and Ray. Um, but I have to say that Ray, I think, does what he does with great love and attention and care and really sees through to people's spirits. And that kind of deep comprehension of all of us is a real gift that he's given to us and to the program. And I want to thank him. I know he'll go far with that quality and all of his other qualities. Sam has been... Uh, a woman who's just grown a lot. As she spoke so well tonight, I reflected on how she started. And she has had ups and downs, but she's come through because she does have a very good heart. And she wants a lot for herself and for her future. And she's going to build that, and she is going to have all that she wants, that wonderful family that she'll build, and that wonderful career that she'll build, because she's a uh, woman of substance, and she knows who she is now. And she's just started, but she's on her way. Thank you. And Richard is finally finding his voice. And it's a beautiful thing, because he's, he really was very, very shy and almost silent for years. And here he is, and we're getting to know him in a different way, that he's found his confidence and found his strength. And it's just at the right time for him to move on to college. And he's just a tremendous person. He's always been a gentleman and very dignified and caring. But he, his devotion to his friends is, is unparalleled. Um, he is dedicated to his friends and family. But he now is letting people get to know him, which I'm very glad about, because he's certainly worth getting to know and a, and a pleasure to be with all these years. All of them are. So please, let's have a round of applause for all our graduating Bridge students. We love you, and we wish all the best for you. And I'm excited that we'll have a few more gatherings and moments together before you go off. So we won't say goodbye. We'll just say so long until the next time we meet. And in the meantime, I invite anybody who'd like to come up and say a few words to the rest of the group, imparting to one another, or a favorite memory that you have from the summer. Um, please do so now. This is a great time to do it. Thanks. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed what Upward Bound has to offer. I know that for this, because next year is my last year, uh, I definitely feel like 
that upward bound has really fully prepared me for a lot of things that I may be facing in the future. And uh, I, I love everybody here. I really enjoy my time in Upward Bound. I actually look forward to it. Uh, and so I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here and sharing in this moment with me. So thank you. Okay, this is unfair. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm a really bad speaker, but um, hello, I'm Kiara, and it was like my first year, and it was very stressful, but it was very fun. I found that I ended up missing the program, like living with my three roommates, which is Kiara, Kiara, and Cheyenne. <laughs> hey! But um, I really miss like the program all in itself because it was fun. I liked. Don't, don't tell Sarah, but I like staying up doing my homework, you know. But it was really fun, and I do plan on coming back. And yeah, woo! Hi. <laughs> um, I just want to say that well, since next year is my last year at Upward Bound, and being all Upward students that are here right now, it feels like a blessing, because they really made a lot of memories here for me for two years, and I'm gonna really miss them a lot when you leave. <laughs> I know you are. But I definitely love how having the summers that I have at Upward Bound because if I was at home, I'd be lazing off, do nothing, but we're bound actually having some fun and learn more about myself and what I'm going to do in life is better. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm Katrina, as probably I hope all of you know, except for some of the parents. But this was my second year for the Summer Upward Bound program, and I really enjoyed it. I think that we all kind of like opened ourselves up and made a lot of new friends. That And it, it's really good because you meet a lot of people that you might not have talked to or known otherwise if they weren't in your class or they weren't in the same activities. So it really helped you like open up as a person. And also, I think for me especially, it kind of keeps you on track during the summer. Because a lot of times if I wasn't here, I would have just slept <laughs> all summer. But it keeps you kind of motivated. And I think that's really good. And I really enjoyed my second summer at UB. Yeah, so people have been, t been telling their personal um, life story, and I, I kind of felt like maybe I should share a little bit of myself as well. So back then, uh, I was such a total shut-in. It was so embarrassing. Um, I, I, really, I really didn't like anyone, but that was mainly because they didn't, for some reason, like me. Um, I, I've... I've only been expressing my interests, such as my uh, 
love for Japan and its animation and its um, overall pop culture with the young people. And people really seem to not really hmm, like me as much because of that. I, I don't know why. They, they just regard me as a different person and they just, just kind of left me isolated. So I've been pretty alone for a really, really long time. I was really, really um, isolated from other people. And it's only been recently, like, like just recently, like as in last year and the year before, where I've started to actually started to feel very, very good about myself. And I, I really, um, I, I, I am so glad that I didn't turn out like one of those people who managed to actually just change themselves for the benefit of um, getting along with others because you can't really get along with everyone because interests are different but if you get past that then people really seem to behave differently. Um, I was really glad that I was able to stick with my personal interests and actually talk about what I know and love to do, which is watching anime, reading manga sometimes, building my little robots, um, showing people what I love to do. I'm so glad that people here didn't really seem to mind. And that makes me so, so happy. You guys have no idea. And this year has been a total blast for me. Um, because everyone here was so kind. Everyone had some sort of um, thing inside them where, so, some sort of acceptance, acceptance, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Um, people tolerate each other sometimes, but otherwise uh, they still get along with each other and I'm really, really happy for that. And with, without Upper Bound, I would have never ever gotten out of my shell and I would have still been alone. So thank you each and every one of you. So after a little debate with the bridge students over there in that corner, as you guys saw us, you know, um, we were narrowing it down to um, seeing a symphony orchestra in, Massa in uh, Western Massachusetts, or going to a trip in to Maine and uh, taking a ferry out to an island and spending the night over there. And um, the, all the bridge students came to a conclusion that we would like to go uh, take a bus trip to Maine and take a ferry to an island, come back, um, explore town, explore the island, and we're gonna, it's gonna be a two night, it's gonna be a two day trip, so we're gonna be sleeping over for one night, and um, dates will, is still, it's still, we, 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 yeah, we need it. We still need to talk to Sarah about the date a little bit just to get everything together. But that's the idea of the trip that we wanted to go to. Anyone? Yes? No? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in advance, I hope, to be able to participate if you're able. Katrina. Okay. The, the bridge students would like to do it next week or the week after. Probably the week after next. And we will we'll get that out to you in the next day or two, so you have some planning time. I would like to say on our behalf, thank you very much for coming. It was great to see you. Congratulations on a summer program well done. And enjoy your rest and well-deserved vacations. Thank you. Thank you for coming.